In iOS 10, the lock screen has been totally redesigned. Here's everything that's changed in Beta 1. So first off is raise to wake. Now you don't have to touch anything on your phone. You just lift it up and the screen turns on showing you your lock screen. Once there, you can see everything that's there, including redesigned notifications. Now they don't dim the wallpaper and there's a much more rich experience that you can interact with. 3D touch improvements are everywhere in iOS 10 and on the lock screen, you can push on a notification to get much more information and interact with them. So for instance, in a message notification, you can reply and continue the conversation right from a notification. Now, aside from notifications, there's a few new ways to navigate. Now, if you swipe in from the right, you get to the camera. And if you swipe in from the left, you get to the section that holds your widgets. These are the same widgets that were in the Today View before, but now they have their own dedicated space. There's a few new widgets like detailed weather, activity, series suggestions, maps, mail, almost every stock app has its own new widget. And again, like the notifications, these show you much more information than they did in iOS 9. If you swipe up from the bottom of the screen, you get a redesigned control center. Now, instead of cramming everything into one space, you get multiple panes that you can swipe through. So on the first one, you get settings control, and on the second, you get your dedicated music controls. Also, when you set up the home app, you will get quick controls on a third pane. The control center functions has also been updated a bit, so the quick actions at the bottom have 3D touch, so you can activate different areas of those particular actions. The notification center is still at the top, and it's been tweaked a bit as well. The biggest feature here is that you can 3D touch to clear everything. Now the last thing with the lock screen is slide to unlock. It's gone. Now, to unlock your phone, you need Touch ID, or if it doesn't recognize a fingerprint, you just enter in the code, but there's no more sliding. Once you get in the phone, you have the home screen. For the most part, it looks the same, but it does have some new animations, but the bigger change is with 3D Touch. Now when you touch an icon, you get a widget along with the other options that we had before, so you can interact even more with the icon without ever going into the app. Also, when you swipe from the left on the home screen, what used to be the proactive section now holds all those widgets, and they work the same way as they do on the lock screen. So those are the changes coming to the lock screen and home screen in iOS 10. This is a beta, so changes and improvements are likely to come, but this gives a solid look at what to expect when it's released in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more coverage on iOS 10 and visit MacRumors.com for more. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.